Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to Ecotraining's second online field observations test. We've got five questions, wait to the end to get the answers. Let's go. First question of this week's field observations test. Test number two is this track that I've got here on the ground. It's a beautiful track. You're not gonna get a more perfect version of this track. And I'll give you a few hints. This track can be perfectly divided by a piece of grass or a stick like this and like this to separate the side toes and the front two toes. This animal has claws. You can see the claw marks very clearly in this track and a very small back pad. What animal made this track? That gorgeous little arthropod there is so colorful and it's quite common. We see them a lot out here. Uh, it has bright colors to warn predators that it is toxic. That's called aposomatic coloration. And this one is almost at its adult stage, not quite fully grown. What is it? Question number three. It has uh, clustered leaves on the ends of the branches with a silvery sheen covered in fine hairs. And sometimes you can even see galls on them. I can't see one. Oh, there's a gall right here. Okay. There's a piece of branch that's become enlarged through the actions of something called a gall wasp, which is a parasite. Uh, they used to be used for tanning leather because the leaves are very bitter, full of tannins, drawing the moisture out. And it also has extremely fibrous bark. So if you pull that bark off in long strips, you can uh, make it into a rope or a twine, which is very, very useful when you're out in nature. It's also an indicator of seep lines, meaning a fair amount of underground water. There's a bird calling right now. Can you hear it? It's very loud. I think it's actually that side somewhere. That bird often calls like this when it's sitting at the tops of trees. It's a fruit eater and it likes to... It likes to sit at the tops of the trees in the mornings to get some sun to help digest that food. Very agile and graceful. Big bird, well, fairly big. And it often warns us if there are other animals around as well although that one's not as reliable. It does have different vocalizations though for different types of predators, some on the ground, some in the air. It will sound different for each of those ones. What bird is that? There's another bird calling. It's quite distant, so it's not super loud, but it's down towards the river. Listen for a second. So it's calling down there and it's not just one bird, it's actually two birds calling together. One says the high pitched noise and one says the lower noise. And they're specialist fruit eaters. And these birds are quite small and they love to be along rivers especially. That's why it's calling from down by the river. Wonderful bird, what do you think it is? Yes, this was a jackal. We have lots of side-striped jackals here on the reserve, but it could be both black-backed or side-striped. They're both very common. Well done. This is an elegant grasshopper. Well done, those of you who guessed correctly. Those of you who didn't, at least you can just appreciate how beautiful it is. Congratulations, everyone. Silver cluster leaf, Terminalia sericea one of my favorite trees because it's just got so many uses and you guys are doing great well done that was a gray go away bird such a cool bird to watch very agile as they move in the trees not particularly good flyers they sort of flutter along quite in straight lines not very agile but when they're in the trees they hop and they jump and they bound very beautiful the way they move in the trees and yes they do have different calls for different animals. Well done. If you said black collared barbet, you are 100% right. The duet, beautiful duet, the more or the longer these two birds have been together, they're monogamous, the longer they've been together, the more in sync their call will be. 
So these two have obviously been together for quite a while because they sound very, very in sync. Well done. Well done everyone, thanks for joining the second online field observations test. Don't forget to comment in the box below your scores and click the like and subscribe button for more.